Hi guys, today I have a reveal video. It is a bag that I just happened to get yesterday and it is a Coach 1941 bag and it comes in this dust bag and it is the Coach 1941 uh, saddle bag in the color 1941 saddle, which is kind of a funny name. But um, this is the 1941 saddle color, and it is really overcast here, so the lighting is just not going to be the greatest to do this color justice. But it's basically like this rich tan color with golden stitching on the for accent, and it's got this burnished, I don't know if you can see, but it's burnished, like a little darker around the edges. Maybe you can see it on the back better. Um, but I love that, it just really makes the bag interesting. It's not like any color I've ever seen on a bag and I just think it looks really rich and beautiful. And it does have a back slip pocket. This bag is from the 1941 collection. They have, Coach has come out with several types of saddle bags in their 1941 line. There are several sizes and some with uh, rivets and fringe and different types of leather and um, this is one of their newer ones and it has a really unique type of closure it has gold hardware which I'm very excited about and it's a little bit uh, smaller than the 23 size just slightly um, it is relatively the same size it is a little fatter but maybe a little shorter and smaller this way and this one is nice because the strap does detach and it also has that back pocket feature which I love in a bag. So this bag retails for $395 and I think it is still on the coach website. I got this from a friend for a really great deal. She was able to find it for me and um, I picked it up from her for like $180 and I was really excited for that. This is the gloved tan um, smooth leather, the not the pebbled. So you know it is that smooth leather but look how gorgeous this leather is with that gold hardware and that golden stitching I just this this bag came flawless it was wrapped up I still have the um, it comes with the 1941 tag which is gorgeous I still had that wrapped up and it's got the burgundy on the back and now let's open it up this is a really unique type of closure and I really kind of I, I'm enjoying it you just lift up this leather tab and then the bag opens and look at all leather on this smooth um i think it's glove tailed around the inside as well but maybe you know tanned a little bit differently because it does it does feel softer it says a genuine glove tan leather there the c and then it comes with the nice thick detachable strap which that is a game changer for me i love a good detachable strap and the strap on the 23 size saddle is detachable but it comes with like a belt buckle system so you could attach another strap to like the belt loose belt buckle but it's not as convenient so we have the leather there the inside it's hard to show it's got one zipper pocket a um, leather inside and then one slip pocket in the front and you'd be surprised by how much this oh and if you want to close it you just put the it's, I think it's easy. Some people don't like the uh, the closure. I, I think it's easy. So I kind of want to show what will fit in this little bag. And I kind of want to attach the strap so you can get the full look here. Okay. So here it is with the strap attached. And I really like the thickness of this strap with this bag. I wore it crossbody and it was so comfortable on me and it goes long enough on me thank goodness um because i am 510 sorry if you hear scratching i'm pet sitting my parents dog and it's scratching over there so sorry if you hear that um so i kind of want to show what fits inside of here so i have this round coach uh coin purse that will go in i have the um mcm card holder i put that in the front pocket I have my six ring key holder from Longchamp. I have a round hand cream. I have some tissues. I have my AirPods. I have a chapstick. I'm gonna put that in the front too. I have this, I don't know if this is gonna fit. It might. If I move some things around. 
Okay, so, and then I put my small GGB set piece. It is quite stuffed. You can close it. Yep, it closes, and honestly, it doesn't look, it doesn't even look bulgy. Like, you could totally do this. And then also, you could slip your phone. I have the iPhone 10, and it fits in the back pocket. No, no problem at all. So, that is what the bag holds. I think that's quite a lot for the size of a bag. I would say it holds everything that I need for a day, um, and then some. My YSL mini camera Lou bag is the most minimal bag I own, and this, that's the least I can do for a day. This holds more than that by a, a ton. So now I wanna show it on so you can see the um, how long it is on me and how it looks. Oops. So with these clips, they are a little tricky. If you put them this way, they will hit the top of this and unclip. So make sure you always do it this way so that you won't be losing your bag while you're wearing it. So I'm at five at 10 and this is how it fits on me crossbody. And it's very comfortable length for me. I like this. I think it looks good and it's such a comfortable bag even with everything in it how it looks and uh, you just I just lift it up and get into it and close it um, you have to put it over the C and then do that or if you're in a hurry and you don't want to do the whole closure you can just leave it like that and it will you, you don't have to do the whole closure you can just if you're in a hurry do that so I'll do that but I do love the way this bag looks closed so this is the 1941 saddle in the 1941 saddle color. <laughs> so this is a really nice bag, unique. I, I really love I, I really love the shape, the closure, the back pocket, and the, the contrast stitching and the gold hardware just sets it off for me. I am a gold hardware gal and coach does the gun metal all the time. So when I saw this had the gold, I was really happy to have that. All right, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. And uh, until next time, bye, guys.